Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome to a brand new series, SnowRunner. Goodness, I've gotten a lot of requests about this, and here we are. We streamed this a couple of days ago, absolutely loved it. I'll share more details as we go, but if you have not heard of this game before, it is a driving game with a huge focus on the off-road aspect. So you can see the map, this is only one of them, there are so many. But I've been spending my time here and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we will go ahead and get a glimpse of what this game has to offer. And I'll share with you the little uh, tids, uh, pieces and different quirks so far. But all in all, I think you'll love it. I do. Anyway, in this episode, to start with, we are going to deliver medium pipes if you look at the upper right corner of the screen it says drilling and supplies i already delivered the cargo container medium pipes is the only thing left and that's what we'll be getting here in the warehouse now if i go to that contract i believe it should be drilling supplies right this one so cargo container that one i delivered already medium pipes is something that we are going to deliver now and it's going to be a very tricky path here now it looks all well and good in this view uh, everything looks smooth but once we get there it's going to be pretty crazy anyway without further ado let's get into it <coughs> we are using the hummer today i found this just lying down on the river uh drowned in the river i saved it and uh, somehow the owner gave it to me lucky but it is, I think, a very good starting point because it's a very powerful vehicle with very nice tires. And it's perfect for almost all kinds of terrain, the tires it has. And that doesn't happen very often. I like that. See the engine actually starting to turn. Now, I've had a bit of challenge. Maybe that's an understatement. Trying to make this work for my steering wheel, my G27. Actually, right now, the the uh, setup is a bit weird. I actually have all the different kinds of controls enabled. I have my keyboard, I have my wheel, and I also have my Xbox 360 controller <laughs> with me. Because not all the controls are properly set up, so I switch every now and then. So the things are not yet as smooth as they can be. The release has been more aimed for the controller, the gamepad. Steering wheels took a back seat, unfortunately, but we make it work. I'll share more details as we go, if I remember them. All right, so the Hummer can take in this uh, trailer that we got here. That's good, so at least we can carry something. So now we have to go here in this yellow area. Now if you have a crane, you can actually load this yourself. But for us, we can just auto load this. So what will happen is we pick what kind of cargo we want and we can then load that up. Now for our mission, we would need medium pipes and you can see actually depending on what you carry, the trailer, the load on the trailer at the back changes. You can see it like going down, sinking into the ground when you are hauling something heavy. So let's get some medium pipes in here. Wow, that's heavy. I'm scared now. Alright, that's all well and good. So I think we are good to go there. Wish me luck, guys. What I like about this game is it's so immersive, not only in the physics department. So it is super realistic when it comes to the the traction. That's the highlight of the game. But also when it comes to the configuration, it's up to you how you configure your truck. You can see this Hummer that we have. There are There's a spare tire at the top, some crates, some fuel tanks at the back. Those are not just for show. Those are actually beneficial in some way. So if I, like right now, I have only 21 out of 80 liters of fuel. If you look at the lower left, 
part of the screen you can see the fuel now because i have a couple of different fuel tanks in here i can actually fuel myself up you can see the source and target in there either the truck repair supplies or the small roof rack so both of these carry 40 liters each and i can choose to uh, maybe let's get the the one from the small roof rack we can fuel up ourselves there we go and maybe one more and you can see the fuel at the top is gone now so the crate is no longer there the there the one with the red bounding box but now we have 61 out of 80 liters so those kinds of things you know you really are responsible for configuring your own truck and right now we are only hauling a what do you call this an suv an suv but uh, there are also like proper semi trucks out there i just chose not to use them because they are heavy and they are not very good with off-road yet at least the ones i have and look at you can see the physics on the mud here yeah so that's it's this kind of you can see the mud actually dirtying the truck look at that oh, so cool for the ocd fans out there though this might not be for you all right so now we see that the default setup for this truck is a rear wheel drive that means only the wheels at the back are turning are moving when you spin when you uh, step on the gas but with uh, an option if you look at the right side lower right side to turn on all wheel drive mode and you can see that changing in the axles below so now when you step on the gas all four wheels are moving and that is very good for off-road but it also consumes a lot more fuel if you compare now if you look at the lower left side again you can see it's around 2.0 liters per minute going up and down if i turn off all-wheel drive it normally is only if i can move actually i can't even move anymore um hello well that's bad i think i got stuck somewhere doesn't seem like it there we go okay so if i turn off all-wheel drive should only be around one point something 1.7 so there is significant increase in fuel consumption when you turn on all-wheel drive but i found that it's a very worthy trade-off man yeah i've been playing this game offline just to get some experience over it and it's been such a blast it's my first time driving this with a steering wheel though because previously i was unable to make my g27 work but i found a workaround i can i fiddled around with the game profiler settings and i managed to make it work in a limited manner yeah strangely enough the developers did not provide g27 support from release they are planning to do that though but who knows how long it will take oh my goodness that does not look like a safe picture you can see we also have a snorkel a mini snorkel here on the right side of the truck that's also one of the config options and that helps for us to not be as prone to drowning drowning out the engine so we can survive these levels but i think that might change the picture might change very soon you can also switch to low gear Try. Oh crap. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Actually stuck now, I think. Is there somewhere we can winch to? Okay, there's a quick winch option in here. And I think what we can do is pull ourselves up. There we go. Alright. Winching saves lives. So I'm using a combination of both steering wheel and gamepad here just to fill in the gaps because the steering wheel can only provide support for some of the basic buttons but it's missing a lot of buttons. A quick winch doesn't always work so sometimes you have to specify where to winch from and where to winch to. In our case, uh, I think that one on the right dot works hopefully there we go 
because these rocks are very unstable. And yes, there is a damage system. Let me show you. If I go and show damage, you can see each part can have their own damage and it will affect the performance of the truck in a different manner. Like I think I saw someone damaging their gearbox and their gears would jump all over the place while we were while they were driving. So it's quite realistic in that sense. Yeah, so I'm really hoping for proper wheel support. There is no force feedback yet as well. Well, there is, but it's not reliable so much so that I had to turn it off in the Logitech Game Profiler. Right now, I only have a centering spring so that I can feel something with the wheel. But it's not very useful. It's not very realistic at the moment. And this is one of the troubles in this... Uh, this game well maybe with my, with the driver more trouble with the driver than with the game but I tend to get stuck a lot and it takes some time for me to get out of it and if I am recording like this then you probably will need to spend all that time with me as well so that's going to be tricky but it's something that we can work on maybe I can cut off cut it off only fast forward to the juicy parts or something but as much as possible I'd like to take you guys with me so we'll see now the engine sounds are not the best they are a bit lacking especially if you have been spoiled by the amazing mods in truck sim but we'll get you there so for us we are actually planning to go in the drilling site so in our case, we want to turn right here. I actually missed my turn. Crap. Turn right. We can actually set waypoints in here. So we can say there and move here. And I can actually use my mouse. Yes, and then just go straight until we pass that one. Go through here here cross the river and yes you can see there is no GPS which is understandable you wouldn't want to put a GPS system in here because it would be so confused and there we go the drilling site so that's the overall plan let's see if we can manage to follow that so right now we have to make a right turn a hard right turn and uh, that's not going to be very easy with all these rocks scattered across the map. Come on, make us through. I should have turned there on the right. Ah, yes, that's what I missed. That's okay. We'll get it somehow. Some way. There we go. We're getting out, guys bit by bit now the first question people always ask when they see snow runner is where's all the snow because the initial map in Michigan actually doesn't have snow so you only see mud and so people get disappointed and say well I, I, I was expecting snow with this name snow runner after all so I decided to skip Michigan jump straight into Alaska this map we're in and uh, here we get all the snow and maybe more snow than what we deserve or what we would want to see I'm uh, all over the place now need some chain tires chain on the tires but this point doesn't really work now as you can see I'm no expert in the mudding department in the off-road department but I am learning bit by bit so if you have tips for me let me know and I hope to learn them eventually. Okay. Maybe we can hitch to somewhere here. Alright. I'll get there. But yes, having the steering wheel here really improves the immersion tons. Comparing driving with a gamepad, it's a very different experience. 
And as much as this game has been designed for gamepads, where the controls just feel so fluid with the gamepad, nothing beats being able to actually use a controller for the driving. Let's go to first person here so we can see more how stuck I am. And I know, I know, first thing you'll probably notice are those pesky hands. But after some time, you'll get to ignore them. We'll start uh, being able to ignore them. But for now, I think we have to live with it. Oh crap, there is no winch point in here. I might just, just, did I just get myself stuck? I don't know. I have to trust the system. Winch there, winch there, winch everywhere. Yeah, that, that should have been the road where I was supposedly in. That one on the right. But yeah, it's uh, not going as smoothly as I hoped. Oh, are we free? I think we're free. Semi, semi free. <laughs> so that's probably how it will go moving forward whenever I get stuck. I'll uh, probably pause the recording and then I'll try to get myself out and I will get back to you when we are a bit more out of the woods, out of the snow in this case. But then again, just like now, I get stuck, I get unstuck for a second and then I get stuck again. So that might be a bit more tricky to handle. We'll see how this goes. I think we're getting there. Not really. <laughs> Which points? Come on. Anything. Progress. Route. Almost. Oh, there we go. Come on. Work with me here. Let's go first person here. The immersion in first person is quite nice. If you remove the hands, it's great. And if you add track IR, my goodness, it's going to be so cool. But yeah, at the moment, there is no track IR. And there are these pesky hands, so we'll have to live with them for now. But yes, I'll give you a sample of how amazing this looks. The mirrors do work. You can see the rear view mirror there. You see the side mirrors here. Yeah, so you can see if you are stuck somewhere you can even peek out like so just like in truck sim so that's cool and then you can use first person for better estimation of the mud and the snow so yeah it's a work in progress guys i'm fumbling a lot but we'll get there eventually and i am learning bit by bit so, but if you have tips for me, you let me know in the comments, okay? Because I'm sure I could use a lot of them. Oh my goodness, look at the graphics here. This is just such a nice game. The visuals is amazing. And yeah, the performance, the frame rate, silky smooth. It's actually snowing. Oh no, that's not very good for us. But yeah, the, the sound department could do a bit of an improvement huh maybe that's an understatement <laughs> if you are very fond of nice engine sounds then this is probably not going to be breaking any records in your book so which one do you prefer first person or third person i like switching every now and then like when i'm stuck like this it's nice to see the the tires really working for it But there are times when first person is really helpful to take you out of the distractions and focus on what's in front of you. Like don't pay any mind to what's getting stuck, what your tires are doing. As long as you're moving, you're fine. And in our case though, we're not moving anymore. But there is this post here which can help us. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Alright, let's get this going. That's my self-made waypoint right there. Let's go ahead and uh, go to first person again. 
I found that the low gear is very limiting. Sometimes even if I am stuck, the auto gears are better. Like it's more powerful. And just as I say that, I get stuck. Okay, now I think the car stalled on me. Yikes. Okay, maybe now low gear will come into play. Okay, sometimes low gear has this effect. And also there is such a thing as diff lock, although this truck doesn't have it. That can only be enabled in the low gear, so that's where it shines. And in this case, it's also where it shines. But yeah, I'm so happy that I can at least play with the wheel now. So for those who are using a G27, I have some tips for you. Maybe I'll make a separate video for it, but for now, listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. <laughs> Go to your Logitech game profiler. Edit the global device settings. Don't even bother creating a profile for this game, it doesn't work. At least for me, it never worked with the Logitech game profiler for G27. It always has to be the global device settings, That's only those are the only settings that it follows. Let's go here on the right, I think that's pretty murky. So go to your global device settings. I turned off all the force feedback because the force feedback is there. But it doesn't make sense at all, like it's buggy as heck with a wheel at least. So I just turned it off, zero all the effects strength. I put in a centering spring, 40%. And then I set the degree rotation to 900 degrees. And the most important thing is to have to untick, untick, remove the checkbox on the allow game to adjust settings. Because if you don't do that, the game will set your steering to only 180 degrees, which is pretty disappointing. Because yeah, officially, this game does not yet support the G27. And so, whatever you manage to make work is only a workaround. So for now, it's better to just override what the game would set based on what you have in the profile in the logitech game profiler and with that you can make the steering wheel work you have a bit of quote-unquote force feedback there so you ha feel something on your wheel only uh, when it's like going back to the center you know when you turn your wheel when you let it go it goes back to the center on its own that's the centering spring but like the mud, going through mud, getting stuck, those hold no significant force feedback yet. We'll have to wait for the developers to update that. But for now, we have limited support, we can say. Also, some of the keys are not uh, remappable. You can remap like the handbrake, the shifting gears, but they are very limited. You can't even map the change view. Like this change view, there's no way to map it to your steering wheel. It's not in the list. So now I have to press number one on the keyboard. If you can't find it on the keyboard, it's one. Thanks, Jack, for letting me know about it. Here we are. Are we here already? No, this is only first part of the equation. So you'll see a couple of different establishments throughout the map different kinds of terrain oh finally level road maybe we can switch off the all-wheel drive let's see yeah that should be good enough that should save us a bit of fuel and maybe we can go to first person again here so it looks like we have to turn right here and looks like we'll have to enter into murky mud again let's go into low gear all-wheel drive and see how far this gets us It's quite nice though. It's actually quite relaxing in a way. It's a bit frustrating at times, but once you get the hang of it, it teaches you patience for sure. It teaches you a lot of patience. And it's not about speed. It's about finesse. It's about perseverance. And I guess I think it somehow teaches you some life skills along the way, huh? perseverance with setting the game up with a wheel 
and perseverance with getting through the mud and snow. So both of those factor in. But yeah, you guys let me know if you like this kind of series. If you like this series to continue. Because this is experimental, it's a work in progress. If you like to change something in the format, you let me know. But basically, I try to drive and babble along and uh, get through the mud and snow while uh, speaking nonsense to you guys. That's the gist of it. <laughs> but no, uh, it's, it's going to be great. I love this game. And it looks so good, doesn't it? Looks so good. Later, maybe we'll get through a scenic spot. I'll uh, take a photo. we will make that a thumbnail. And I'll teach a thing or two on how to take screenshots because it, even that is tricky. Because this game is only available in the PC. In the PC, so it's available in PC, Xbox One, and PS4. But of course, I am using the PC version. Hashtag PC Master Race. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but not really. Um, but yeah, so in the PC, it's only available in Epic Game Store. Not in Steam, so you cannot find it in the Steam, uh, if you, even if you search there. And in the Epic Games, there is no built-in screenshot functionality. And there is no built-in screenshot button, screenshot key here in the game. So it's a bit tricky. So you'll have to find a solution for yourself there. Uh, and yes. You can't just ignore these logs like they are nothing because they really are going to be a pain to get through like what is happening to us now. So hopefully, yeah, I think that reaches that point perfect. That winch point in front reaches that post right there. That should save us. If not, then the entire place will be having a massive blackout because we just pulled out one of their power lines. <laughs> My goodness, look at the graphics here, right? That looks so good. Oh, wow. And the water just looks so natural. And the lighting. Uh, during the stream, I said this is like Truxim and the Hunter combined. Truxim for the trucks, of course, and the Hunter for the visuals. The trees, the landscape. Just how real it is. That just looks so good. So if you play this game as well, or if you've watched others play it, let me know what your favorite truck is, and if you have some recommendations which truck I should use. I think there's a favorite, one of the internationals. Need some help here. Get, get stuck in the mud. Let it go. Let me go. Also, the winching has to be done in a very meticulous manner. If you winch too hard on something that's not stable, that happens. You kind of pull down the tree. And uh, no more Christmas for some folks. <laughs> Just got rid of their Christmas tree. Well, they're kind of stuck here. Hopefully we can attach someplace else. There is that one there. Yeah, you can see I'm not very familiar with the mechanics yet. I get myself stuck oftentimes, so I need your help to guide me how to spot something and how to get out of things. Right now the winch is saving my life, but yeah, I think I can do better. Right, we can go to auto here. I think we can go a bit faster. It's not... The snow is not as deep in here. Looking great. You see a couple of these uh, icons as well in front of us? That is a contract. And we do those... Uh, or that is a task to be more accurate. You can do contracts and tasks. These jobs, some of them are like nice to have. Like, uh, it gives you a little bit of backstory. Scientists are stuck, get them out. Uh, a vehicle is stuck in the river. Things like that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Can that be our thumbnail photo? I think that can actually be it. 
So if we zoom out like this, zoom in like this, oh my goodness, that looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah, that definitely wins. So what we can do is uh, we can go to the settings. I don't know an easier way to do this, but you can go to the HUD, turn off the markers, turn on the hide HUD. It's a bit confusing, you know, but it's off, on, off to hide everything except for that waypoint. And then you have a mostly clutter-free screenshot right there and we can press print screen now you'll have to find your own uh, your own screenshot program or maybe just press print screen that's default with the windows but yeah there is no built-in screenshot that i know of which is a shame because this game is such a looker and uh, yeah, it's a waste they need a proper photo mode here and the shortcut to hiding the hud so we can take nice photos but that's the way I do it at the moment. Right. Enough dilly dallying. Let's get this job done. Or not. Let's get stuck first though. No gear. And just like that, we're stuck again. Yeah, having diff lock definitely helps. This truck doesn't have it, but it does have amazing wheels. So I went through my list of trucks. And uh, most of the tires are for on-road, so it's for highways, but they suck at mud, they suck at off-road. That's the starting wheels that you get, but... But this truck is different, because it actually, the, the tires that come with it, they are excellent in every kind of uh, terrain, on-road, off-road, and mud. Although, I, I guess I could argue if it's really excellent with mud <laughs> so the the tires are great but it doesn't have diff lock at least not yet there's an upgrade for it and you can upgrade your trucks in the garage but you have to find the upgrade first in the map and that's what i've been doing in the garage it said uh this truck has diff lock and you can unlock it if you find something if you find it in the map and it's in the alaska map here so it's somewhere but, yeah, it's a bit tricky. Oh man, it's going to be difficult, huh? Spin tires. There we go. But yeah, having snow is definitely uh, a nice change of pace. Although Michigan, I've played in there a bit in that map and it's quite nice very scenic autumn weather What's that sound did we just break our trailer no oh, it's good but yeah it's no runner after all so we want some snow in here we can turn on the lights as well i'm not sure how to do that in keyboard but in the gamepad that's left bumper and b <clears throat> don't get stuck thank you we're almost out of fuel again Do we still have fuel i hope so let's go and uh, refuel a bit i hope we don't leave ourselves hanging in here we do have a little bit more okay okay good so i was afraid we would not make it <laughs> and all that effort would be put to waste maybe not really because if you do get stuck there are a couple of options. You can have your other vehicles rescue you. Or worst case, you can like teleport to the garage and restart. So you can save your vehicle, get refueled, get repaired, but you have to start from scratch. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. How we just punch through the snow like that. It looks so real. Making snow angels, but with trucks. <laughs> now granted I don't have a lot of experience in snow actually let me correct that I don't have any real life experience with snow I've never driven in snow because I live in a tropical country but I've heard a couple of tips from you guys and one major tip is to not step on the gas too hard 
has to be controlled bursts so that you don't spin your tires let the torque help you out don't force it right but that looks good and it's getting dark and it's getting scary so what we'll do is we'll wait for night just so we can show you how it looks how beautiful it looks and how scary it is at night and then I will fast forward the time because thankfully that is an option in this game because it's kind of hard sometimes yikes can you get through here? okay there you go you can also see in front there is this kind of watchtower kind of deal and as you would expect like in other games a watchtower is very helpful for scouting the vicinity the surrounding areas it unlocks some jobs it unlocks some waypoints some points of interest so i discovered all of them in this map oh i actually have a, my truck here my trailer i was trying to haul it to somewhere but i gave up midway because it was just so hard to drive with this um, with some trucks it's so hard to drive because they're they're meant for highways and I force them through the mud and it becomes very very difficult so yeah this one I had a semi truck here and I was struggling I think I spent like 30 minutes just going through this little bend here because it was not equipped for this kind of terrain but yeah I will need I need to level up I think rank 6 by doing jobs you rank up eventually and when you hit rank 6 you unlock the all-terrain tires which should help a bit with the off-road the off-road tires i think are rank 13 something like that quite far oh no what just happened to us oh no that doesn't look good bursts of winching so that the tire that the tree doesn't uh, give out good all right so i think we've seen enough of the night i like the subtle graininess in there and now we can actually fast forward so right now it's uh, 22 50 in the evening you can see that in the top of the screen if you can look at the north port lettering to the right of that that's the time but we can skip it now it's midnight one more and now it's morning it doesn't have any penalty it doesn't use up your fuel most of the jobs as so far from what i've seen are not time based so that's good so you can just fast forward and uh, get some nice visuals along the way now this might be a very tricky spot might regret this let me have a look we're almost there dang it yeah we're almost there now I think I have a truck here somewhere nearby, so if I do get stuck, we can do use that to haul us. I have the can marshal. Uh, it's a bit far now. Okay, that's fine. Maybe let's push through. Maybe we can make it work somehow. Maybe reverse. This truck likes to swim, huh? There you go. There you go. That's the way. sometimes first person is the way to go so it hides all the unnecessary stuff just focus what's in front of you try to make it work avoid those rocks because they all play a factor and the rocks actually get you stuck a lot the big ones especially they have a huge effect on traction and uh, the stuckiness winch anywhere okay doesn't look good all right, but we were able to go through most of that. Let me see. Where are we stuck now? Yeah, this is very thick mud. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just a little more. So I'll try and do a couple of episodes of this one. We'll see how we get to. Probably do a couple of episodes offline and uh, pre-record something. And then you let me know if you like it, you want to see more, or want to change something up. And then we'll see how we do. Oh, 
Yikes. Well, I've been spending a couple of minutes in that other truck and I think I'm officially stuck. So uh, we need the help. We need a bit of help. This guy is an all-around. I think I got this as a bonus for buying the DLC, the season pass. Either that or the pre-order. One of those. But nonetheless, I really like this truck. This one is a great scout because it has an automatic always all-wheel drive and it can have diff lock in those humongous tires you can see so it's great for scouting going anywhere across um, but the only thing is you cannot hitch anything in it because it's a russian truck i don't think any trailers are compatible with it by default so if we want to save ourselves we want to oh my goodness we got so close at the end okay Let's reset that. So what we do is we go through here. We go through that place. I think even this one is tricky. So I'm not sure if we'll be if any help at all. But the good thing is at least we can get a bit of different feel of a truck and how great it is with diff lock on. So this can be a showcase. Man, look at how it just just this truck just goes anywhere and bounces all over the place it doesn't get stuck that easily and then as i say that i get stuck <laughs> that's going to be a bit embarrassing but it wouldn't be far off let's go first person here i guess one one thing that i wanted to highlight as well the interior is actually very well modeled you can have seat belt buckles in there the dials actually work now if you remember from mudrunner days the, da the dashboard was basically like uh a 2D thing that they put on cross. This time they're actual dials and they work. I really wish they would remove the the hands though. Not a fan of the hands. Maybe I'm just used to truck sim with no hands uh, set up, but yeah, the finicky hands are throwing me off a bit. I wish there was an option to turn it off. Oh, one sec take this easy because I am I think risking myself at tipping over here there go. yeah the steering wheel definitely helps because it uh, allows me to make those very small adjustments oh look at how thick this snow is I think we'll need diff lock here let me go to low gear and let's have a look at the tires how they're faring. Actually, even without diff lock, we are managing somehow. But with diff lock, that's going to become even easier. Look at how easy it is with diff lock. What it does is it prevents the tires from slipping. If there is one tire that's slipping, it kind of evens out the spinning for all the tires. For all the drive axles so you don't spin as much and it's great for these very hairy situations let's reverse a little yeah the, the other sad thing is there's actually no manual transmission yet you can see the shifter layout on the right quote unquote shifter it's not really a shifter but if you remember in mud runner they used to have a proper manual uh, transmission where you actually have to use the clutch and balance it with the gas so you do, your engine doesn't die when you start the truck that is gone for now i hope they bring it back but i guess they had some time constraints and they had to remove it but yeah i think they had to change uh, the engine the game engine itself so they had to remake a lot of stuff and fortunately that manual transmission didn't make the cut but I'm sure a lot of people I've seen a lot of people complain about it and rightfully so so that, that is one of the most immersive uh, elements in Mudrunner and yeah having a wheel here Having a shifter here, and I can't use it properly. It's a bit of a downer. 
but we work with what we have for now and it's great the game itself is amazing so i'll use this time to familiarize myself with the concepts and then later on concepts of not getting stuck <laughs> and then later on we can focus on how to oh yikes how to make it work how to get the most immersive experience with the steering wheel with the with the shifter and all that stuff when they implemented it man but do you guys see how amazing this SUV is just goes anywhere just point and gas up okay I might have spoken too soon there uh, let's take it slow I'm not sure how deep this goes oh yeah 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 Cockpit camera not available underwater. Yikes. I hope I didn't get myself stuck there. Diff lock. Save me. We do have a nice snorkel here. So the engine shouldn't be close to dying off yet. But can't say the same for everything else. Oh, there's something there. A lifeline. Literally. And I should actually have gone to the left there. I always get lost here in this game. Oh, we're alive. Nice. So yeah. Probably clumsy trucking skills and uh, this game don't really mix that well. <laughs> But still love it. Spend, pro I probably spend more time than what you should or what you normally should be spending on because I get stuck so often. But I'm loving the game nonetheless. Okay, so let's go in reverse. Let's see if I can get back on the road there. There we go. Reverse again. I can use my shifter to a limited capacity, but yeah, it's uh, still mostly automatic. It's like forward or back, slow or normal speed. That's the extent of it, but no manual shifting, no clutch, and whatnot. This looks great, doesn't it? All right, we're here. So we should be seeing... Where, where's our guy? Let's have a look at the map again. I might have gone over. Actually got, got over. Alright, so we reverse. And then we pull our guy along. And we finish this job once and for all. Hopefully. We'll see. <coughs> Alright. At least they put in a proper reverse gear. Not like in farm sim where you have to step on the brakes to reverse. In a steering wheel setup that is so strange, stepping on the brakes to reverse, that is the most like, uh, unrealistic feeling. At least here they put in a proper reverse gear, you can go there, and so you can step on the gas to reverse, which is how it should be. But yeah, in a gamepad environment, I understand why you allow braking. You're reversing while braking, because it makes sense in a gamepad. Right, we're here. This is actually a nice thing. You would have. You would actually think that I did this intentionally to showcase the game's features. So you can go ahead and save yourself. We can winch there. You can see connecting to the back of the truck to the front of this one. And the engine of the other truck will start automatically if it can. And so we have like double engine power pulling us through. So it's not just dead weight. And we are moving guys. I didn't even enable my diff lock yet. Yeah, this just shows you what the game can do. And I think it's a good primer of things to come. I've had a bit of fun with these two trucks, trying to get them across, trying to trying to get them up mountains, saving each other. Because I often tip over, as you can imagine. Alright. 
Looks good. Let's get away from the logs here. Okay, too late. Yeah, that looks great here. Nice. So we can probably let go here now. Job well done. Good. Let's go and uh, get back on the other truck. Saved. Right, and then we deliver this on the left side right here. <clears throat> Where's that radio sound coming from? I hope my video doesn't get any copyright hits because of that. Okay, almost there. Final two turns. And we are free. There it is. Uh, cargo management. We delivered the drilling supplies. Now we find... Uh, Oh, drilling supplies. There you go. We have now reached rank 5. Nice. So we got 5,800 bucks there. 670 stars. That's huge. And now we have a new drilling site built up. Cool. What is this lost tube? This is a different mission altogether. Alright, great. So, that is going to be it for the first episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll go and record one more because I'm having so much fun. Um, I'm not sure which mission to take on. But I'll find something. There are so many contracts, missions. And maybe in the next episode I can show you how the garage looks like. Yeah, maybe that can be a thing. Alright. Anyway, let's leave it there. It's a good showcase of things to come. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video and if you want to see more, hit the thumbs up the like button comment let me know and share it with your friends and let's uh increase the community thanks for watching have a nice day and catch you in the next episode bye bye clumsy trucking clumsy off-road trucking see you soon